Hello agents, this is a quick video to show you what to do when a transaction cancels. So we're going to be testing it on a listing today, but you do the same thing for a buyer um, transaction as well. So we see that we have a listing opportunity. We have submitted our listing documents to the Market Center already and had them approved. We've gone under contract and submitted those documents to the Market Center and had those approved as well. But then I fell out of escrow for some reason or another during the inspection period or financing or some other reason in contract. And now what do I do? So at that point, I want to make sure that you send a note to the market center so that we know to cancel out any DAs or anything on our side. So you're going to click on add a comment and you're going to see there's a couple comments already in here. You just enter your message. And let me know why and that you've uploaded the cancellation documents and send that over and then you're going to resubmit to the office as well once you've uploaded those cancellation documents but now at this point we have gone back under contract with a new buyer for this listing and so what do I do with the new documents you're just going to come up here to the under contract in the down arrow click on that you're going to see a couple other ones already in here but you're going to hit add a version and then whichever contract it is I recommend just using the buyer's last name. That's the easiest way to track it. Create a version. At that point, when you hit create a version, you'll see it dropped a whole nother section of placeholders in here that are empty for you to upload those new signed buyer docs and submit them to the Market Center for review. And I'm just going to upload something here so that you can see it. So let's just add a file really quick. So we'll add a counter offer and the rest of the contract documents. You see that it says submit to market centers, come back live and the open status has come on. You know at that point you have not submitted to the market center because it says open. So once you hit submit and hit submit again, it changes to submitted. Then I will go in and make my review and change it to approve or reject if I'm missing something in particular and let you know. So that's the way that you would go back in and resubmit to us if a transaction falls out of escrow. Same way with a buyer in the under contract section, you're just going to add a version. Um, this does not take place if you've lost the client altogether. So let's say this listing client has decided to not sell any longer. At that point, we would come back to the details section and click on lost opportunity. That means that we have lost that client and we are no longer selling his home. If it was a buyer, if we no longer had that buyer as a client, you would go back to the details section, click on lost opportunity. But if we still have them as a client, then you want to still remain in that same opportunity and continue forward. If it was a buyer, you would know that we need to change the address because the address needs to be into the opportunity name for the market center to be able to locate it. So you would just click on your little pencil and change your address if this was a buyer opportunity. Obviously the listing opportunity, the listing property address is going to remain the same. So at that point, you have done everything you need to do to submit to the market center if you have a new contract. Thanks and have a great afternoon.